take out your stockings and wrapping paper because today I'm going to be giving you guys my top picks for bookish gifts for book lovers. Wow, that was a mouthful. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello everyone. My name is Shelby. Welcome back to my channel, Grace with Books. Today I'm so excited to be giving you guys some ideas for gifts for the book lovers in your life or just things you may want to put on your own holiday wish lists. It's super easy to get someone a gift card to Amazon or Barnes & Noble, but sometimes it's really nice to get a personalized gift that really means something to the person and to you. Today I'm going to give you guys my favorite bookish stores that I think have some beautiful, wonderful gifts perfect for the book lover in your life. Just a disclaimer before we start, I am not being sponsored by any of these companies to tell you to use them. I am not being compensated anyway. Every recommendation I give is out of my own volition and just because I personally love that company. I am currently influencing for one company on this list and I will tell you which one that is when we get there and I will also give you my discount code in case you want to use that, okay? So without further ado, let's start with some of my favorite bookish items to gift for the holidays. So the first category I want to talk about are candles. Candles are amazing because not only are they beautiful and decorative, they're useful. I love lighting a candle when I'm just chilling reading a book. I love like letting it like sift into the air and it just gives everything so much more of a homey feel to it. Especially when that candle is book related, it feels a little bit more special. So I'm going to talk about two companies today that I really like for candles. The first one I'm going to talk to you about is Flick the Wick. Flick the Wick is a pretty big candle company. You may or may not heard of it, but they have these beautiful bookish candles with every single character you can imagine. Not only do they have characters, but they also have scents like book shop cafe and a bibliophile candle so they really just have a really wide range. Personally I actually own the stocking Jack the Ripper Thomas Cresswell candle and that smells like chocolate and coffee. I got this in a fairy loot box and I really would like to order more because it's just so pretty first of all and it smells amazing. The next candle company I'm going to tell you about I actually did rep for them a few months ago and they actually did send me candles while I was repping for them but once again they're not paying me or giving me anything or compensating me in any way for talking about the store this is just because I personally love the store I was so excited when I got to rep for them and that would be wiki wiki candle co wiki wiki candle co has these beautiful handmade soy candles that come in beautiful glass jars just like this one and they are so classically pretty as much as I love a good colorful candle I sort of like that they're plain white sort of tannish color and then when you open them up they have a little sparkle on the top. I have multiple but this one's probably my favorite. It is the currently reading candle and it smells like books and tea and it has that beautiful sparkly layer on top and I just love smelling it and lighting it and it's just absolutely perfect. This is actually my second version of this candle. I already lit a previous one, which is why the top is so nice on this one. I haven't lit in this version yet, but they're, they just smell so good and they're so pretty. And since they're really big, they last a pretty long time. And just to let you know a little bit of the pricing of these candles, the Flick the Wick candles, the smaller versions are about $8 and the larger versions are $16. And the Wiki Wiki Candle Co. candles are basically $16 because they're bigger and they last longer. Okay, those are my recommendations for candles and now we're gonna move on to my recommendations for bookish tea. I love tea. It is probably the thing that makes me super happy in life. I personally, wait, I actually have it. I recently got this gorgeous little sloth tea diffuser so that I can use the lo loose leaf tea that I get in like bookish boxes and on my own and it just sort of sits in there and it diffuses the tea into the water. So I absolutely love tea and I especially love when it's book inspired obviously. The first company I'm going to recommend to you for all your bookish tea needs is the Simply Bookish Co. They have some amazing bookish teas from fandoms like Akatar and Six of Crows, some Harry Potter teas, and some Narnian teas as well as many many more. They come in three different sizes. You can get a small bag, a medium bag, or a tin. Because I sort of just wanted to try it out to see if I like it, I actually bought the Wonderland tea in a small bag so it comes about this big 
big. I've already drinking some of it, but it was originally all the way filled when I got it. It even has some directions on there on how you're supposed to use it. And I just pop that into my sloth diffuser, let it sit for a bit, and then enjoy. When you click on the tea that you like in the catalog, it'll tell you what different flavors are in the tea, and you can sort of decide from there whether or not you want it. The baggie that I got is only $3.50, so this is a really good idea for like if you want to get something like a different types of sample teas, because these are pretty cheap. So I love this company. The next tea company I am actually an influencer for right now, as I mentioned before, and that would be a bookish flickering. They have some amazing teas. I don't personally own any of them, but I know people who do, and I've tried it, and they are amazing. You can use my code GRACED10 for 10% off your order, and I will leave that link below as well. The teas are priced at about $4 per bag, and I personally got the Rattle the Stars tea inspired by Akatar, and I believe that was a green and black tea. So I'm super excited to get that in the mail, and I'm so excited to try it. So those are two companies you can use if you would like to gift some tea to your bookish friends. The next present idea I'm going to talk to you about is one that is very close to my heart, and that would be bookmarks. I love bookmarks. I hate it when people just treat their books horribly and dog ear their pages, when they like use their hardcover book sleeve to like save the page. That doesn't do anything good for the book either. So I'm a big, big fan of bookmarks. The more, the better. And I've had the privilege of repping for many bookmark companies, but honestly, usually when I get those bookmarks, I give them to people because I want people to treat their books nicer and I will do anything to make that happen. There are so many bookmark companies that I'm such a fan of, and actually some of the shops I mentioned earlier also do have bookmark options. A lot of these up stores don't only have one thing. These are just the things that I would like to highlight from those stores. The bookmark companies I'm sharing with you today are ones that just sell bookmarks, and they are simply gorgeous. And the first one I'd like to talk to you about is Fandom Honeybees. These are awesome. They are gorgeous watercolor bookmarks and I have quite a few. They have OTP inspired ones, regular character inspired ones, and even some with quotes on them. They are so pretty and wonderful to look at, but one of the big reasons I am recommending this company to you is that she also does custom bookmarks. That's right. The owner, Mary, is the sweetest person ever and actually worked with me to create my own custom bookmark. She used some of my favorite colors and we made a beautiful Grace with Books bookmark because that's the name of my blog. If you feel like I'm getting something super personal and super cute for a friend, I definitely recommend a custom bookmark from them because they just turn out so well. They're a beautiful photocopy material. They are glossy and wonderful. So yes, I love, love fandom honeybees. And these bookmarks are generally priced at $2.30, I believe. The second bookmark company I'm going to share with you guys is a really awesome one if you like character drawings, and that would be Gemlin Creations. They make beautiful illustrations of your favorite book characters. I have two with me right now. I have Sabrina the Teenage Witch and Clary Fairchild. And she has so many more amazing illustrations like that in this bookmark form, so I highly recommend checking out Gemlin Creations as well. The final thing I'm gonna talk to you guys today is about book sleeves, because we must protect our books at all costs. One of my favorite companies for book sleeves is probably Fictional Boutique, and they have these gorgeous fabric book sleeves. They don't, they're not specific fandom inspired but I still think they're the cutest things ever for instance check out this beautiful hedgehog one it's made of some really soft nice material and it has a little button up there that you can secure it with so your book stays safe another really good site is bookbo and I don't personally have any book sleeves from bookbo but my sister does and it's a really good material and I've tried it out and they usually fit a lot of different sizes so I'm also a big fan of bookbo's book sleeves. And those are some recommendations for some cute personalized gifts that you can get the book lover in your life or put on your own wish list. Despite what I said at the beginning, of course someone's going to appreciate an Amazon gift card, a Barnes & Noble gift card, or any gift card to any of your independent booksellers, but these are sort of a fun way to get something for a book lover that isn't just a book. I hope this was helpful. Let me know down in the comments if you check any of them out. It would mean a lot to me if this video helped you in any way, shape, or form. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell if you want to get updates on when I post. I post Mondays and Thursdays, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!